All right, fam, so day three of trying to stay positive and hopefully getting on the road. No, we're actually getting on the road today. So we found out what was going on, and it's crazy that something so little and insignificant can render a whole truck unusable because of the whole DEF system, D rating and all that. And like I was saying, there's two trucks here that are from the same company, mine and my friend Milton's, for the exact same thing. But they misdiagnosed his in Amarillo and changed the whole DEF pump in his truck. And it still ha happened to have the same problem a few hours later. Now what's happening is that the trucks are starving for DEF then setting off these alarms. And what's making all this happen is this little filter right here. It gets clogged up, full of mess, and it ends up derating your truck. Now, while at idle, of course, it's not going to do anything. It's going to be normal. There's no lights going to be on a dash. His Normi truck would act up while idling, sitting still. It only happened once you got up to speeds about 60, 65 miles an hour. Then the truck started starving for def system for def and derated the trucks. His was misdiagnosed. Brand new pump got put in Amarillo, like I was saying. And if they would have done their job correctly, they would have found out that this is what's going on. I'm gonna blow into this. See my face turning red, well, it's normally red anyways. There's nothing coming through here. And it's supposed to be a clear screen that you're supposed to see through. You cannot see through this. And that was clogged up. That's why the fuel or the, the DEF was not getting through the system to do what it had to do. So that's what we found out. Highly recommend this Rush Peterbilt here in Pueblo, Colorado. The mechanic, Arlen, was amazing. He didn't, he, when, when he started doing this, he told me, he said, look, I don't wanna just throw parts at this thing. Let's go drive this truck. Let's go put it in th through the paces and see what it does. And sure enough, we started going down the road, started seeing the pressure of the DEF that was not coming up like it was supposed to at full speed. It was getting like 30 PSI-ish when it was supposed to be at over 100. And uh, so it was starving for death. Now he said, I could throw a pump at it, but I, 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 I'm not gonna do that. He said, we're gonna start with the cheapest thing which I know I think that's what it is. And let's do that and then we'll go from there. Sure enough, he did this, changed this out. Now the truck's pressures are at idle where they're supposed to be and at speeds that are over 100 something PSI like they're supposed to be. And the truck is now happy. DEF systems are the death of all these trucks. But unfortunately, government regulations, we have to deal with them. Or do we, is the question. If you guys are having these problems with any of your trucks, this might be it. Might be a little different for Freightliners and all the other name brands. But for a pack car, Peterbilt, Kenworth, this is probably what it looks like. And uh, I need to find out exactly where it goes so I can change it in the future. But you can do your research, find out where it goes, and y'all can do this before y'all start having problems. Something as a maintenance thing. Be good, be safe, and thank you, Jesus. We're about to get on the road. Peace.